Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we'll look at five times people were eaten by animals so that you don't end up in an animal's stomach. We'll also give tips on how to avoid such events. Stay until the end. You never know what kind of wildlife could be lurking around the corner, ready to gobble you up. Before we start, we have to warn you that there will be some graphic and sensitive content ahead. With that, let's start. Number five. American campers eaten by a grizzly bear. Have you ever seen the 2005 critically acclaimed documentary, Grizzly Man? It's based on the life of Timothy Treadwell, who spent 13 summers camping out at Katmai National Park in Alaska so he could commune with wild bears until he got eaten by one. In the documentary, Timothy's parents said Timothy had always been an animal lover, but his life spiraled out of control when he became an alcoholic and a heroin addict. In the late 1980s, Timothy almost died from a heroin overdose. When he managed to survive the ordeal, a close friend convinced him to travel to Alaska to watch bears. He agreed and had his first close encounter with the grizzly. In his book, Among Grizzlies, Living with Wild Bears in Alaska, Timothy shared that he found his purpose in life after this trip. He credited his recovery from his addictions to his newfound calling of living and caring for bears. Timothy spent his 13 summers camping at what he called the Katmai National Park's Grizzly Sanctuary and Grizzly Maze, where he could get up close and personal with the animals. He took almost 100 hours of video footage and a lot of photos during his trip. He became so popular that he was invited to talk in various events, TV shows, and schools across the U.S. He wrote that he was always careful with the bears and that he developed a relationship of mutual trust, respect, and friendship with the bears, many of whom he saw each summer. He became so familiar with them that he began naming them, but the Alaska Science Center of the U.S. Geological Service painted a different picture. A research ecologist said that Timothy broke all park rules, harassed wildlife, and interfered with the natural processes in the areas he camped at. They also slapped him with several violations. Timothy also claimed in his videos that he was always alone during his trips. But as proven during his final summer, this wasn't true. In 2003, Timothy extended his camping trip. One stormy October, Timothy and his girlfriend, Amy Huygenard, camped near Salmon Stream. Timothy arranged for an air taxi for the next day. A few hours later, the pair's air taxi pilot landed near their camp and saw a bear sitting on top of human remains and gnawing on a human ribcage. The pilot contacted park rangers. The officials shot the large male grizzly and another bear in the area. They discovered human remains scattered near the campsite and also body parts in the bear's stomach. A video camera was recovered, but it contained only audio footage of Timothy yelling that he was being mauled by a bear, some moments of silence, Amy screaming as the animal came for her, and the bear grunting after the attacks. According to the park's records, this was the first time that a bear had killed a person in the area. But food was scarce during that fall, so the bears were more aggressive. A diary entry by Amy stated that Timothy had been filming a mean-looking and an unfamiliar bear earlier. He may have been filming his killer. How to avoid being eaten by a bear. Okay, this may sound weird, but one of the best ways to avoid being dead by a bear attack is to not be like Timothy Treadwell. Don't actively seek out the bears. Avoid them at all costs. Don't approach one. Try to be as quiet as you can be if you're near it so that you won't startle the bear. If you know that you're in bear territory and you see a carcass, move away quickly. You might be interrupting the bear's dinner. Most important of all, if you see a bear cub, stay away from it. It may be cute, but a mama bear is the most aggressive bear of all. Number four. Indonesian woman swallowed whole by a python. Pythons are non-venomous snakes, but this doesn't mean that they're not dangerous. They don't bite their victims and inject a toxic substance into the bodies. What they do is wrap their long, powerful bodies around their prey and squeeze hard. Their victims die from suffocation or cardiac arrest. Then they open their jaws very wide and swallow their food whole. They can even swallow an adult crocodile. One woman in Sulawesi, Indonesia, discovered just how dangerous a python could be. 
In 2018, a woman named Wa Tiba went missing when she checked her vegetable garden. Local people mounted a search and discovered her sandals and machete a day later. These things were beside a 23-foot python with a really big belly. Suspicious of the snake's bloated body, the locals killed it and cut open its belly. The woman's body, complete with her clothes, was pulled out of the belly, completely intact. How to avoid being eaten by a python? Gigantic snakes are very rare, but on the off chance that there's one lurking nearby, avoid hiking through jungles alone. Pythons are very good at camouflage because they like to ambush their prey. So having an extra pair of eyes can always help verify if there's a big snake hissing in the bushes. With a companion, you'll also have an extra pair of hands to fight up a python before it can constrict your neck. Speaking of necks, even if you come across a pet python, don't put it around your neck. That's like asking it to wrap around your throat and strangle you. Snakes rely a lot on their sense of smell and heat receptors for directions because of their poor eyesight. So try to keep food in tightly closed packs and wash your hands after eating so that you don't smell like a juicy steak. Are you learning a lot from this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative animal videos. Number three, Australian divers devoured by sharks. On January 7, 2020, rescuers near the Western Australian coast had been searching for the body of a 57-year-old man who was mauled by a great white shark, when they discovered a different body being devoured by three sharks. The rescuers later discovered that the body was that of a 21-year-old college soccer player Eric Berigidi. Eric was on a holiday with friends when he slipped off the rocks and fell into the water at Twilight Beach on January 2nd. His friends tried to rescue him, but the current swept him out to sea. The local police launched an extensive search until his body was discovered not far from where he had his accident. Eyewitnesses shared that one of the sharks eating Eric's body was quite a big one. Although they discovered Eric's body, the rescue team never discovered the body of the other victim they had been searching for. Gary Johnson was attacked by a great white shark while scuba diving with his wife. Gary was president of the Esperance Dive Club. He actually shared on social media that he wore a shark protection device because it gave him a peace of mind. But the device was not activated during the attack. Gary's wife managed to put out a mayday call so rescuers got to her on time and managed to bring her to the hospital. After days of searches, the rescue mission for Gary was suspended and only his tank, vest, and flippers were found. How to avoid being eaten by a shark. So what do you do when you've got a sharknado nipping at your flippers? Well, Australia has a lot of shark attacks, so you might want to avoid swimming on its beaches alone. Choose patrolled beaches too to amp up the protection factor. In general though, avoid swimming when it's dark, like at night, dawn, or dusk. Remember not to swim if you're bleeding or you might just start a feeding frenzy. Avoid high contrast clothes or jewelry that reflect the light. These are like blinker lights for sharks. If you notice underwater wildlife behaving weirdly, get out of the water. They can feel predators coming for them. If it's too late and you're surrounded by sharks, don't splash around too much. This will probably be very hard to do since you're already panicking, but try to stay as still as possible. Erratic movements will only attract the sharks even more. British hiker gnawed by wolves. Probably. Wolves have a bad rep of being lean, mean, hungry monsters, especially during winter nights when the moon is full and bright. How many movies have you seen of wolves portrayed as killers? We blame folktales like Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, this may have been true during the medieval times, but over the last few centuries, Wolf encounters have become rare. For one thing, there are far fewer wolves living in the wild these days, and several wolf species have become actually extinct. Wolves have also learned to avoid human populated areas. Of course, there are still very rare instances of freak attacks, like the one that happened in 2017. During a trip to Greece, a British hiker named Celia Lois Hollingworth went missing while walking alone on a remote path. Celia arrived on a Thursday in September. On Friday, her brother received a frantic call from her that she was being attacked by dogs. Her brother called the British Embassy in Greece, which filed a missing report with the police. 
Saturday, authorities found gnawed bones and a dismembered body in the hills north of Greece. They discovered Celia's passport nearby. An autopsy conducted the following Wednesday reported that the thigh bones had been cracked open and the body devoured by wild animals, most likely by wolves. But even the official report did not have enough evidence that the perp were wolves. The authorities just assumed it because wolves still roam the areas where the body was discovered. How to avoid being eaten by a pack of wolves? If you find yourself surrounded by a pack of wolves, don't run. Wolves are hunters and will run after moving prey. Don't show your back to the wolves. For example, if you've accidentally fallen into their enclosure, walk very slowly towards the exit while facing the pack or keep your back against the fence. Don't stare them down because they will take this as a challenge. Make yourself large and scary by shouting, throwing stones, or raising your arms or jacket over your head. If the worst happens, curl into a tight ball and protect your head, neck, face, throat, and sides. Number 1. Indian Villagers Gobbled by Man-Eating Tigers Bears, snakes, sharks, even wolves can't compare to the true man-eaters, the big cats. We're talking about cougars, jaguars, leopards, and lions, but the most notorious of all are the tigers. Yes, there's a reason why Shere Khan is the main villain of the Jungle Book. He epitomizes the aggressive, ruthless, and violent man-eating tiger. Although only a small portion of big cats are man-eaters, they still have the highest statistics of mauling, killing, and eating humans. With razor-sharp claws, razor-sharp teeth, and innate hunting instincts, tigers continue to terrorize people even today. Here's proof. Look at these scary footages of people desperately running away and climbing trees after spotting tigers prowling the sugarcane fields of a small village north of India. The village is near a tiger reserve, but because of poor zoning and planning, the tigers trespass even into the villages. A dozen man-eating tigers had already killed 22 of the villagers in one year. Some of the victims' bodies were discovered half-eaten. One man's leg was gnawed to the bone, another had no head. One villager went out to relieve herself in the fields and never came back. The scared villagers had already petitioned for their bosses for help, but nothing's been done. Although some families received some compensation for people killed outside of the boundaries of the Tiger Reserve, but is that enough if you live in terror of being killed by a tiger every day? How to avoid being eaten by tigers? The tips we've given in the previous entries can work with tigers too. Number one, avoid them at all costs, especially their cubs, cute as those big kittens may be. Tigers are fast runners. You may need to be as fast as Usain Bolt to outrun one, but like the villagers, you might be able to run fast enough to get to a tree and hide in it. Don't throw anything at it. That'll only make it angrier than it already is. Tigers are nocturnal hunters. This means that they actively hunt at night. So one of the best ways to avoid a tiger attack is to not go at night in the middle of a dark field just to relieve yourself. You might find yourself staring at a pair of glowing eyes. Finally, tigers are very territorial creatures. If you know that you're in tiger territories, don't challenge them by using their land as your bathroom. If you gotta go, do it before or after your trip, because if you do, it might be your last bathroom break. There you have it. Five times people were eaten by animals and tips on how to avoid being eaten. Do you have a tip to add? Share it in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, you might want to check out our video of the top five worst alligator attacks that happened in Florida.